Well, Jimmy, I told you it was Christmas here in the Del Marva Life Kitchen, and we're getting ready to wrap it all up with a big red bow. Yes. We are making toffee or uh, sticky toffee pudding, right? Sticky toffee pudding. Okay. So you already have. Obviously, Paul Supley, the owner oh, of Watchcar yes. 40 in Pittsville, is here with us. Also, an instructor at Warwick. Yes, right? I'm an associate professor at Warwick. Full associate time. professor. Gotcha. Yes, okay. All right, what am I doing? All right, go ahead and dump that in there. Okay. So he's making something to put over top of it? I am. I mean, this is whipped cream fresh. We use, it this, this, use this at the restaurant. We're starting with heavy cream. We're going to get this fired up so it's whipping. All of it? That's good right there. Okay. Yep. Let's go ahead and stop this. This will just take a couple minutes to whip up. Okay. Um, we're gonna, and in about two minutes, we'll add some powdered sugar, and then towards the end, we'll add some creme fraiche. And this is really the big thing I wanted to talk about today. Um, creme fraiche is pretty, it's uh, creme fraiche in French, creme fresca in Spanish, um, but this is pretty much sour cream, but it's made from heavy cream. You take heavy cream, add a little bit of buttermilk, heat it to 80 degrees, let it sit overnight, and it pretty much turns into sour cream. Oh. So, really cool thing to cook with because if you try to cook it with sour cream, a lot of times it'll break because it's made from milk. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of it's made from skim milk. This is made from heavy cream, so it keeps that consistency. So, things like beef stroganoff, things that you need to have a nice creamy flavor to, it's great stuff to use. Okay. So, it is one of the things that we teach at the school. Um, sticky, um, the sticky toffee pudding is pretty much a date cake. And like, As a date, the Fruit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It would be a nice cake for a date, but it's a okay. date cake. <laughs> um, so you, you, you cook the dates, you, um, and you puree the dates with the water, then you add the rest of your ingredients. And not really being a baker, I did not make this up. This, this is just a food and wine um, recipe. Okay. I'll have the link on the website. Um, but this is kind of the cool thing for me, and I love you know, if you want to add like maybe like a third of that or even a quarter of that. A little bit at a time or? Yeah, you can just go ahead and dump it in. Okay. Huh? Now does it, does it, the colder That's you good. have the, your ingredients and everything, does that make it kind of whip yes. up faster? Yes, and I, I just pulled this out of the refrigerator about just, just before we started, so mm -hmm. yes. Colder, better. In fact, if you can chill the bowl, mm -hmm. even better to do that. Yeah, so. yeah. Same thing like when you're, when you're um, grinding meat, making sausages and stuff, you want everything ice cold. So, you know, you have these proteins in here. So you can see it's already starting to take form. So we're going to take some of this creme fraiche. And again, you know, a lot of people are going, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla first. Ooh. Ooh. That's a, this is a really good bourbon uh, vanilla paste that we use. Okay. Um, so, Jimmy, if you want to add like two good heaping spoonfuls of the creme fraiche. You are extremely precise in your measurements, aren't you? I know I am. <laughs> Very important to get that Just right. don't drop the spoon in. Oh, that would be oh. bad. <laughs> good TV, but... It would be good TV. Yeah. It's not my mixer. I don't care. <laughs> so, so are you uh, growing up some uh, good chefs for the show over at Warwick? Oh, we, we've had some uh, we've had some amazing graduates out of yeah. that program. And again, I've been, I've been there for eight years. And, you know, I just, just saw today on Facebook that one of my students is now executive chef at a hotel in Dewey. Wow. Uh, we have a young lady who's exec executive sous chef at Kiowa Country Club in South Carolina, mm -hmm. I believe. So it's a really, really well, cool place. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. That's true. It's been fun. And if you would like the recipe, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Or you can find the recipe on our website, delmarvalife.com. Click on what's happening today. So we're going to whip this up. Okay. Now, this right here is why it's called sticky toffee pudding. This is a toffee topping. So it's almost like it reminds me of like a burnt Italian caramel. Okay. So a little bit further than a normal caramel. These cakes have already been soaking in it. Okay. So this is, oh. yeah, this is why you need good dental care. <laughs> Make sure all your crowns are secure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this will definitely pull teeth out. Mm. But I, I do this. Um, for a lot of my clients during the Christmas season, and they absolutely love it. I can take like one spoon. Oops, that's done. Um, I can take about a spoon, uh, about a spoonful of this, and then I'm. Whew, it's enough. You're a happy man. All huh? right. Yep. So in, in earlier we were talking about the creme fraiche, as a very nice kind of uh, nice little flavor um, to the whipped cream. It makes it very rich. And we're just gonna pop this on top, and then we're done. And you know what that means? That means I have to eat all of them. You had to eat the big red bow. And yeah. to eat the big red bow. Nobody, nobody leaves until they're all gone. Well, congratulations Ooh. again yeah. on on your your, your chefs and yeah. Thank you very much. All right. We want to find out more about this. We can just find out from you and, and Warwick, right? Absolutely. Give me that spoon back. Oh, he took your spoon. <laughs> spoon. Oh well. <laughs> no, just right. kidding. Gotta you got an extra whipped cream there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm. Sure. That Isn't is it? delicious. Isn't yes. Crazy. So, chef, did you want some of this? I'm good. Oh, good. More for us. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You sure you need? Oh, I got a huge sweet tooth anyway. That's fantastic.